So Dylan Bosch just won the 200 fly, 141.01. Dylan, how does it feel to uh, get a lifetime best not being completely shaved and tapered? It feels good. Um, I mean, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, I would have been happy with just going in number one into NCs, hopefully. Um, wasn't expecting 141.0. Uh, it's a school record, best, lifetime best. Um, I'm just extremely happy. I mean, while just swimming, the guys, uh, I could just hear them cheering on the bench, the Michigan boys, and that just gave me that little extra oomph for the last, like, you know, 35 meters, and uh, that just got me through. You were really far ahead at the 100. Was, were you thinking that was going to be what was going to happen, or did that kind of take you out of, out of your mind a little bit? Yeah, I kind of just try and, you know, just cruise the first 50 and, uh, you know, start building it from there. And uh, this morning, Pete Brum, he was next to me uh, from Michigan, just took it out incredibly quick and you know, I think that kind of woke me up a little bit and uh, I don't know, it just felt really easy the first hundred so um, yeah, I just kept it smooth and then started building. Well, I guess now you got a sub 140 on your mind, 139.64 US Open record kind of going on there? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's still three months away and three months of hard work and I mean, Sebastian's out there and Chase is dropping some good times and you know, the field, the two-fly field is just stacked right now, so it will be great to beat uh, Michael Phelps and Tom Shields, and that's obviously a goal of mine, but uh, we'll see We'll see what the team needs me to do and, you know, how we do it, so. Well, talk about a stacked field whenever, when you go back to South Africa and race for international meets, that's going to be stacked. you got yourself and Sebastian and Michael Mayer's doing some good stuff, yeah. and then you got Chad to as well. That's got to make it exciting. Yeah, and that's the guy, those are the guys I need to be to, to be making international teams, and I mean, it's just, it's just fun racing against them and, you know, getting that experience and racing against the Americans and honestly just practicing with three or four Olympians at back home and Carl Whitaker and just the, the 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 training pool back home is just even stacked. So I mean that's just great practice too. And I'm going home in April and we'll see what we can do there. Well, looking forward to seeing how you do in, in March and April, Dylan. Thank you very much. Thank you.